What's up, B Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get PPSSPP, a PSP emulator, on your iOS device, and the more tedious portion of obtaining games, aka ISOs. Now, I will warn you. Not all games will run amazing on this emulator if you are not jailbroken because of the inability to access the device's JIT due to Apple's restrictions. Nevertheless, it is still an amazing emulator and without any further ado, let's head into the tutorial. Alright, getting PPSS PP is very simple. All you have to do is open your iEmulators application or type in the Safari's URL iEmulators.com. To get the iEmulators application, all you have to do is select on the square with the arrow, click on Add to Home Screen, and then select Add. However, to get PPSSPP, go to the App section, scroll down to PPSSPP, and select it. Here you'll find tons of information on PPSSPP, which I highly suggest that you read. However, I will reiterate what I said at the beginning of this video. PPSSPP will not run amazing on non-jailbroken devices, and that is because non-jailbroken devices do not have access to JIT, which allows PPSSPP to run at full speed. So be warned, some games may not run at full speed, however, there are others that you may find that will run well on non-jailbroken devices. However, to get PPSSPP, hit install. Hit install again, and this does require the date trick, so quickly head into your settings, go to general, date and time, and then turn off, set automatically, and scroll your date back at least 24 hours, or go or more just to play it safe. But as you can see, my PPSSPP has installed, open the application one time, and now you can head into the settings once again and turn your date back to set automatically. Note that you will have to repeat this process each time your iOS device turns off. Anyways, now we'll be heading into getting games for PPSSPP. Like I mentioned, this is a tedious task and that's because it requires a computer and ISO files are pretty hefty. So get on your favorite web browser on your computer and head into coolrom.com. Now. There's no real way to get PSP games on your iOS device unless you're jailbroken without a computer. Though I highly recommend you use a computer because these files can get very big. But to get PSP games head into ROM files and scroll down to Sony PSP or click on ROM files and select Sony PlayStation Portable, whichever you prefer. And here you'll be sent to CoolROM.com's massive selection of PSP games where you can browse by letter top 50 downloaded, or top 50 rated. You can select games however you like, but as I mentioned earlier, not all games will run full speed on non-jailbroken devices, but a good amount will run amazing on jailbroken devices. Though, I will be getting Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, and to get it, all you have to do is click on download now, and then you'll actually get a pop-up that prompts you to play a video and then you'll get the download link which is kind of weird but I mean if it gets the ROM it gets the ROM so once you do that you'll see that your download has commenced as you can see here from my screen and it is a .7z file for those of you that don't know .7z files are a compressed file sort of like a zip file but most computers do not have a way of opening these .7z files, so we will need an additional program. If you're using a Windows computer, I recommend using WinRAR. It's one of the best programs for opening all types of compressed files, so definitely pick that up. There will be a link in the description, or you can just look it up on Google, like I'm doing. And for Macintosh devices, I personally use the Unarchiver and that's just the one I prefer. You can pick up whatever you like, but if you don't know what I'm talking about, stick to the suggestions that I left in the description below. Links to those two will be there. So, as we wait, I also want to remind you guys, these games, like I mentioned, I have to say this because I know people will complain. These games will not work amazing on PPSS, PP on and on, jailbroken device, but there are some games that will work well on non-jailbroken devices so i encourage you guys to act like a community and suggest games in the comment section below to others to download and try that may work well on ppsspp that you have tried yourself and know work 
However, my download has been completed and I'm opening the file with an archiver. And as you can see, it's taking out the two files from the .7z compressed file. I'm also now plugging in my iPhone into iTunes and I'm gonna bring iTunes over here. And what you wanna do is go into your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, Tab, whatever it may be, scroll to apps and then scroll all the way down and you'll see that you have apps there. You may have a lot, you may have a little, but find PPSSPP and what you're going to do is drag your .iso file that we got from the compressed .7z file and put it into that section that I just showed you right here. You click on PPSSPP and it is the PPSSPP documents. So in the folder that comes out of the .7z file, you'll have a .iso file and that is all you'll need. As you can see, this is a mediocrely big file. It's nothing, It's I mean, it's massive compared to uh, files that you've dealt with with GBA for iOS or other applications of that matter. But once that game is in that section in the PPSSPP documents, it will be in your PPSSPP on your iOS device. So as you can see, heading back into my iPhone, I now have Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai in my games and when I open it, you can play your game however you like. Now this is being played on a, non -jail on a jailbroken device, so you can see that it's running full speed and it looks rather amazing using the settings that I showed in my prior PPSSPP video. And this is honestly an amazing application and if you're jailbroken, I'm sure you'll love it and if you're not, find some games that you'll love. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and show your support for PPSSPP. As well as, if you have not hit that subscribe button, I highly recommend that you subscribe to be notified whenever I upload a video, because I make videos like this one every week. If you're interested in watching more videos, then you can check out all details on PPSSPP by clicking on it or following the link in the description. I highly recommend you watch it. Or you can learn how to get Super Smash Bros on iOS by clicking on it or following the link in the description. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and welcome to the operation.